Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and in this video I want to talk to you about Backblaze, which is an online backup service. And I've been using this for just over a month now, and so far, so very good. I've been very impressed with the actual speed of the service, and also the pricing as well. Now if you go to backblaze.com it will give you the US pricing which is $3.96 per month. If you add on uk-backup.html to that website address you can see it on your screen at the moment it will give you the UK specific pricing which as you can see here is as low as £2.50 per month per computer for unlimited storage. That's right, unlimited storage now i'm currently using this on my mac pro that's what i'm recording this video on i've also got this set up on my macbook air and it's been running really sweetly for just over a month now so let me just click on this tab before i show you the user interface and this tells you about how it works basically it installs a system preference file which controls the backup and you can set that back up however you want i'll, sh I'll show you the settings in a short while and if you were ever to lose your files, perhaps your MacBook Air got stolen, perhaps your Mac Pro stopped working. Most people back up to maybe an external hard drive. But what if that gets stolen as well? What if the worst case scenario happens and your house burns down, for example, or you're burgled and whoever burgles your house takes absolutely everything? You should have an off site backup as well. Now, some people uh, back up to Blu-ray discs, some people back up to other hard drives and they store those off-site. Well, Backblaze gives you a good solution to actually store on someone else's servers all of your files. Now, if something was to happen, Backblaze gives you various restore options you can see here. You can select particular files to restore. You don't have to restore the whole lot. Or if you've got a lot of files, you can even order your files on a flash drive or a USB hard drive. Now there is an additional charge for that, but that is, is an option if you have a lot of files. So let's have a look at what it looks like when it's installed. This is the system preference file. You can see here I have an initial backup in process and it says it's currently backing up files. You can pause the backup, you can restore the backup with various op options, and here it says how many files I've got selected to actually back up. 599,761 files on my Mac Pro. The backup schedule sets continuously, and again, you can change that in the settings. I'll show you that in a short while as well. Remaining files, this is how it's progressing. So it's got 182 files left to back up. Now, your initial backup is going to take a long, long time, believe me. But once that initial backup's done, it does smart backup. So it will only change the files that you've changed on your computer. The last section here just shows the current uh, file that it's actually backing up. Then we go into settings. So let's go into settings and have a look. So we've got settings here. This is the online name for this particular computer. This is the temporary data drive. This is a warning of seven days. So it warn me if it hasn't backed up for seven days. You can set this to one to seven days or to never. And you can also show the Backblaze icon in the menu bar, which you can see just up here. And then you can select the hard drives to back up. Now, many of these online backup services don't let you back up external drives. The drives that mine's actually backing up are the internal hard drives on my Mac Pro. It's not allowing me to select spare because that hasn't got any files on it. So it's intelligent enough to know that. And I can refresh this list at any time by clicking this refresh button. And then we've got a performance tab. Now, it says here Backblaze will back up this computer at approximately 27 gigabytes per day, and that's because it measures the actual backup speed. You just saw that change there. So it measures the average upload speed that you're getting for your backups and displays it here in this little graphic. So it's telling me I'm going to achieve 27 gigabytes per day. We've got an automatic throttle here, manual throttle set off, and backup when on battery power really only applies to laptops. If I take off this automatic throttle, it gives me a slider control where I can control the speed at which it's actually going to back up. So we've got unlimited 5 megabits per second, 2 megabits per second, and downwards from there. So you can limit the sort of upload speed that it's going to take from your computer. 
I usually just leave it to automatic throttle and what that does is it notices the actual system realizes if I'm uploading a file it will automatically throttle back the back blaze back up. Let's go on to schedule we've got some options here I've said it's continuous which is recommended we can set it up to once per day or when I click back up now and that gives another button shown within the preference panel that I can click to manually start a backup and then we've got an exclusion list so obviously you don't want to necessarily back up everything now I've got very large files on my Mac Pro and they're continuously changing I create a lot of video so my Final Cut Pro documents and projects that are stored across various hard drives change regularly on a daily basis now if I added these in it would be a very large backup so I've chosen to exclude those and I back up these to another external drive. Yes if I lose those then I do still suffer to a certain degree but I have got the original footage on my SD cards which come with me pretty much wherever I go. And then we've got some file types that we can exclude as well and you can add to these file types as well and then we've also got a limit to the size of the file so any file at the moment over 4000 megabytes will be ignored and not backed up that's absolutely fine with me because anything over the 4000 megabytes is normally maybe a DVD image or maybe an installation file like a very large install file nothing normally goes over that sort of size for me anyway and then we've got security here uh, we've got the option to enter a private encryption key and I have chosen not to do that at the moment but I probably will at one stage and then we've got reports and we can choose different reports here so we've got files scheduled for backup and an event log and then we've also got an overall indication as to how the backup is progressing so that's it that's what you can actually set up very very simple and as I say over the four and a little bit weeks I've been using the service I've done a test restore on some files works absolutely fine no problems whatsoever recommending this backblaze.com £2.50 a month to back up my Mac Pro that is a bargain if you're in the US $3.96 if you want to do two computers just double those figures up so for my Mac Pro and for my MacBook Air I'm paying £5 a month that is a very good price for the peace of mind and security that my files are backed up remotely and I can get them back if the worst happens. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I really do recommend that you implement at least an external hard drive backup, but do also consider using an online off-site backup as well. It is highly recommended. If you lose all of your files, you will regret not having done it. So if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one.